is his first as patron of the Welsh Rugby Union. Wales are playing Ireland, and there are half-time drinks with ministers from both countries. Are you a massive rugby fan? Well, When he eventually leaves the army, events like this will be a daily occurrence. But he's already mastering the art of small talk. <laughs> Look at the difference. So nice then. First official engagement. I have a suspicion it was actually presenting leaks to the Welsh Guards on St David's Day. But I'm not sure about that. You know. Oh, oh yes. You could not be under those circumstances. sheer terror to just being sort of uh, mildly nervous. I think that's probably the, the greatest, that's probably the... Uh, <laughs> there, are still, there are still moments of terror, but... Um, <laughs> Times have changed, though, not they? have. A lot better looking now, <laughs> The royal family, young and old alike, know they must keep pace with modern Britain. Lord Luce, the former Lord Chamberlain, is among those who has had the delicate task of advising them. to come to 
phone um, event. Uh, so please turn your mobile phones off. Yeah, there's always one. <laughs> this is a very, very important industry to the United Kingdom. We are probably one of the world's leaders uh, in mobile telephony and technology. Like the Duke of York, his nephews William and Harry will have a career in the services before they embark on any full-time royal role. It's a family tradition. But while the forces come first for the moment, the young princess spends some of her spare time as active patrons of a handful of charities. It's a taste of the royal working life that awaits them. Away from his military duties, Harry has just set up Centre Barley, a charity to help orphans and vulnerable children in Lesotho. He has done it with a friend, Prince Seso. Harry, this is Jemima. He does all the work. And this is Nick. He does the work, Jemima doesn't. This is one of those rare meetings in which there are no apologies for absence. The charity has just appointed a country director, and arrangements are being made for his move to Africa. Just to let you know what we've been up to this quarter, there was a whole issue of could we find a house in Missouri? This is the issue of work permits, study permits, visas, PO box, and last but by no means least, the dog. <laughs> the dog. Um, getting a dog out of C2 